Hi, I'm Shane Pilster with Rivers of Steel. Welcome to our online workshops. Today, we're gonna try to create our own alphabet using this worksheet. This is an example that I created based off the same letters from the other worksheets based off of my handwriting. And then here is an in-process version of another alphabet that we're gonna to create today. One great thing about doing letters like this from your own handwriting is that you can properly space things and you can give it a nice little layout. Sometimes if I'm doing like long script, I'm just gonna start going around these right now. We definitely wanna have overlapping lines. If you haven't watched the other video, you're probably wondering, holy cow, that's a lot of lines and it's very confusing. But we will be erasing almost all of these lines, except for the lines that do not overlap. Before I erase those lines, when we outline it, I'm not going to do the bottom part of those letters because I still want to do the rest of the alphabet. You don't have to use sharpies. You can use whatever pen. You can use ballpoint pen. If, you're, if you've got fancy Prisma colors, those are fantastic. So now you can see, and I left these parts that overlap the letters on the bottom. Watching me just draw. Voila. to outline all this.
most of this outline done, if not all. I'm gonna go back through and erase it. All the pencil lines that I have in here. You don't need those guides anymore. This also revealed a few places that I forgot to do an outline, like right there. Where was the other? Oh yeah, over here. I could do a little line. You'll see too, there's a few places where I took liberties to add the lines going to divide the letters, just so there's more definition of what that letter is. For instance, this line between the M and the N, or this part of the G. Probably didn't need it for the G, but stylistic choice. And then from here, I'm going to add a drop shadow going to the uh, down and to the left. My light source will be in the upper right. I'm gonna go ahead and add this around all the letters now. Alright, that was a lot of drop, drop shadows. I feel like I could have used a snack in between all that. And then, what I'd like to do is fill these in so then you can really see. Then it'll really make the outline pop and the drop shadow really sets it off. I'm just gonna fill these in with two colors, but I highly recommend making this, uh, you know, your own little masterpiece. about done so a couple of quick notes uh, this is just on regular printer paper and since I used Sharpie I had another piece of paper behind it you can see that Sharpies bleed through and they bleed on this paper pretty badly so I also have uh, like drawing paper or even watercolor paper to do things with Sharpie you can see that it even bled through on the parts that I didn't have the piece of paper down but yeah I'd highly recommend getting better paper if you're using something like a Sharpie or these Copec pens. Um, I usually outline with uh, either these Micron pens or uh, Sakura pens. Uh, these are, this is a Pigma brush from Sakura. These are awesome by the way. But there you have it. I think uh, my little alphabet is done. 
feel like I, now I know my ABCs. So I hope that helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please send, uh, share your alphabets with us. I'd love to see what you guys produce. Thank you so much.